Did you know that we in India have a palace here that's four times the size of England's Buckingham Palace? And holds one of the largest garba in the world? This is the story of Gujarat's Lakshmi Vilas Palace, ki, which was not ruled by Gujaratis, but by the Marathas. Lakshmi Vilas Palace, the grandest residential building in the world, stands as a testament to their lasting influence. Today, the royal family continue to live within its breathtaking walls. Let's step into their lives and discover the beauty and the history of this iconic palace that remains at the heart of Vadodara's royal heritage. Since we're heading to such a royal destination, our journey should match that elegance, right? That's why I have the bold new Hyundai Alcazar with me. Driving through the beautiful streets of Vadodara in the Alcazar feels effortless, mirroring the premium views of the palace itself. With advanced features like ADAS, the car enhances safety, making every drive worry-free. The Hyundai Alcazar truly elevates our experience, making it as remarkable as the heritage we're about to explore. Game show. Lakshmi Vilas Palace Ma Tamaru Swagat Che. I am Komal Pandey. Now you know me for all things fashion. But in this series, I'm going to blend my love for fashion with the timeless elegance of India's royal heritage. The Lakshmi Vilas Palace in Vadodara is massive. And when I say massive, I mean 550 acres of pure grandeur. Situated within 60,000 square feet area, a total of 170 rooms, spread across three floors, a Grand Darbar Hall, a cricket ground, and a golf course within its complex. The construction took 12 years and cost 180,000 pounds at that time. Now I know what they mean by four times the size of the Buckingham Palace. It feels like I've stepped into a fairy tale. What feels like a fairy tale to me is home to a royal family of only four, but served by an astounding 600 staff members. I'm curious to meet the queen of this grand palace, Her Highness Radhika Raje, who, believe it or not, is still discovering new corners of her very own humongous home. I'm still discovering many parts of the palace. Of course, I know most of it, but there are still some nook and corner that has escaped me even uh, after all these years. So. I come from a principality, so I've lived and grown up in a palace, but of course not to the size and scale of, of this one. So I do remember my first memories of seeing this palace as we approached it uh, as a newly married in the procession, you know, Grey uh, Pravesh, through my veil. So those memories are very, very deeply entrenched in me. The palace is divided into three sections, each with its own unique role. On the left is the Darbar Hall, Jaha Maharaja apni public meetings hold karte thi. In the center is the grand entrance, which was only used by the Maharaja. On the right is the Janan Khana, also known as the Ladies' Wing, where no male visitors were allowed except for the Maharaja. And on the public porch ke north side par hai red sandstone ke pillars, jin pe carved hai ek lion or rabbit, representing the Maharaja protecting his people. I'm curious to know why it's called the Lakshmi Vilas Palace. If it is a male child, he will automatically become the next heir of this place. But unfortunately, it was a female. So nobody was here. Then Maharani asked boys from Maratha to this place. Maharani was interviewing all the boys. And Maharani asked this person, Gobal Rao. He told Maharani that I wanted to rule Baroda. She uh, uh, adopted him as her son. 
and put the name of Maharaja Sai Ji Rao III. He built this palace in 1878 and Lakshmi Vilas Palace because Maharaja got married in 1880. The wife was Lakshmi Bai. 1881 में मेजर चार्ल्स मंट जिन्होंने इस पैलेस को डिज़ाइन किया था ने डर से अपनी जान ले ली उनको लगा कि ये डिज़ाइन गलत है और ये पैलेस कभी भी गिर सकता है उनके मरने के बाद कंस्ट्रक्शन को फिर भी जारी रखा गया और इस पैलेस को उन्हीं के डिज़ाइन पर बनाया भी गया और आज 132 साल बाद ये पैलेस अभी भी खड़ा है sandstone from agra karara se marble and a lot of local gujarati craftsmen work tirelessly on all the intricate carvings around the palace royals and their weapons share an inseparable bond and pratap shastragarh where i'm standing right now showcases a remarkable collection of royal armor Among the noteworthy pieces here are the Navdurga sword and the Panchkula talwar used by Guru Gobind Singh ji and also the iconic talwar of Aurangzeb. Nagin sword. Nagin is one of the poisonous snake. It is on the shape of that like the nagin only because when the fighting was going on they will put some poison on the edge of that sword. So like that they will just touch the person the person will die immediately. As you walk through the corridors you'll see a lot of carvings of the sun and cow on the pillars. These symbols represent that the Gaikwads are Suryavanshis linked to the sun god. Aur ye wahi gaddi hai where the kings would be crowned in the grand rajabhishek ceremonies marking the beginning of their royal reign. ये इमारत राज परिवार के बच्चों के लिए स्कूल हुआ करती थी एंड नाउ इट शोकेस एन इनक्रेडिबल कलेक्शन ऑफ आर्ट एंड हिस्ट्री ऑफ द मराठा डायनेस्टी द म्यूजियम हैज पेंटिंग्स ऑफ द यूरोपियन रेनेसांस रुकोको शैली संगमरमर की मूर्तियां एंड ओवर थर्टी ओरिजिनल पेंटिंग्स बाय राजा रवि वर्मा जिसमें से कुछ हिंदू पौराणिक कथाओं के दृश्य भी शामिल हैं our family is a foodies family so the gaikwads of course like all royal families had their own uh, culinary traditions the gujarati food is also very much part of our diet we have the thati dal the, um, you know the gujarati dal we have dal dhokri uh, so there is this element and of course the huge big question where does foreign puri come from is it a maratha dish is barashan dish is it a gujarati dish so uh, We of course love Poland for you, and it's very much a part of our life. Maharani Radhika Raje then took me to her Gajra Cafe, a one of its kind inclusive cafe run by the LGBTQ community. I think I can indulge right now and burn off all those calories we eat at night. Moti Bagh Cricket Stadium. Some of the best matches have been played here, but when Navratri rolls around, the stadium transforms with special rights reserved for over 40,000 people from across India who come here to dance and celebrate Garba in royal style. all decked up ready and i'm going to go have a blast at the lakshmi vilas heritage garba i also have a few of my friends from vadodara joining me and a drive for the day is the bold new hyundai alcaza and we're about 
to right now. Put on some music and already start jamming. Hey, hello, hello. Its the second row captain seats with seat mounted armrests and a thigh cushion extension ensure a luxurious and comfortable experience. टोन फॉर वॉट्स टू कम then everyone moves together in circles barefoot on the earth staying close to their roots literally and spiritually the rhythm of the dhol and the claps fills the air and in the iconic moti bagh stadium one of the largest garba celebrations in the world comes alive it's not just a dance it's a feeling echoing the spirit of navratri aaj ka din बिल्कुल एक सपने जैसा था वडोदरा का ये जून सिर्फ एक पैलेस नहीं इट्स अ लिविंग रिमाइंडर ऑफ द रॉयल पास्ट नवरात्रि की एनर्जी गरबा का जॉय और यहाँ का रॉयल वाइब सब मिलकर एक कंप्लीट रॉयल एक्सपीरियंस बनाता है एक ऐसा एक्सपीरियंस जो हमेशा मेरे दिल में रहेगा So ye thi Lakshmi Vilas Palace ki kahani a place where history culture and modernity come together stay tuned for more stories that celebrate heritage this journey has taken us through time and tradition here at the Lakshmi Vilas Palace we'll explore more fascinating palaces ahead so stay connected with us as we delve into India's royal heritage until next time this is me Pratik Patel Babbar signing off